like, share, subscribe. I'm going to forget to tell you later. Hello, my scrappy friends. Uh, this is a weird one, I guess. Um, so I, I tried to go on uh, Irish's live and uh, explain what was happening. Um, <clears throat> as a lot of you know, or maybe know, uh, I started a recycling company, uh, my wife and I, in our town of Hudson's Hope. British Columbia and uh, we are it's HH Recycling Limited um, and we were going to be just going up to the dump uh, and like draining the refrigerants out of the uh, any refrigeration units air conditioning anything that has a compressor and refrigerant in it uh, as long as it's not uh, it's the sodium refrigerant because that's a whole different animal but <clears throat> anyhow the uh so um like i've talked to the guys in discord about it uh but i i realized i hadn't really um said what was going on to like anybody outside of that so uh i as far as i know am not going to be doing the um refrigerators at the dump there's been kind of a a shake up at our uh, in our community in the uh, I don't know what you call it the administration so I uh, the guy who had told me that he would hire me to do that no longer works for our district he has moved away to work at some other district probably with more people um, and uh, so I didn't ever get anything in writing there was no contract or anything um, the, I tried to, uh, before he left, get one, and I may still, like, I, you know, once there's been, uh, I think, five uh, vacancies in our district uh, recently, or four, maybe. But anyways, as soon as everything gets straightened out that way, I will try again for that. But in the meantime, what I've done is, uh, so I would have been uh, do doing the refrigerant on those units, and then billing the uh, district, and then the district in turn bills MAR, the Major Appliance Recycling Roundtable in British Columbia. Um, I have uh, gone ahead and gotten approved by MAR to be a uh, authorized um, recycler, I guess a collector, they call it. Uh, so I am authorized to go around and collect uh, major appliances uh, household appliances not commercial stuff but so fridges freezers air conditioners like the uh, not the rooftop models or anything but like the portable ones or the uh, window air conditioners wine coolers water coolers like anything like that um, and also any other non ODP which is ozone depleting potential um, anything like washers, dryers, there's, there's a huge list of stuff. Like I'm, I'm going to, I've already started my own, uh, or sorry, not my own, the company channel, which will be, uh, mostly, um, tutorials. So I'll be, I'm still going to have this channel where I can just, you know, uh, hang out and do fun scrapping stuff and that, and the, uh, company channel will be more, um, safety oriented uh, tutorials on uh, different appliances different things that will be scrapped out um, the uh, I'm after I get sorted out and get everything done like I'm, I'm still waiting for my uh, GST uh, like the tax number for people who don't live in Canada it's like a, a federal tax so I'm waiting for that number to come through once that number comes through then I can start getting paid by Mar for the uh, recycling of different uh, appliances. Then I'm going to go to, there's other, um, I don't know what you call them, stewardship programs. So uh, MAR is a stewardship program for major appliances. 
Then there's like uh, electrical tools, um, you know, blenders have sold small appliances, microwaves. Uh, under this program, I can do the under the cabinet microwaves. So then after I'm done, uh, like uh, scrapping them all out, I'm, I'm going to get some bins uh, to keep my steel in. Uh, every quarter, you have to weigh your steel, um, report how much, uh, you know, steel that you've recycled. Um, each unit I, that I recycle, I have to uh, record each, like every one. And then at the end of the month, or I think it's a month or quarter or whatever, I'll get a, uh, uh, I guess like a payment or I'm not exactly sure how that works. I was going to do this all for free anyhow, except for I did spend a lot of money uh, putting the, um, like buying all the equipment to do the refrigerant. And, uh, you know, as we all know, you don't make enough uh, off of recycling a fridge to make it worth you know, like doing that um, consistently, but uh, especially when you figure out how much it costs, like for the equipment, and then I have to uh, get the tanks after they're filled. I have to get them to Grand Prairie, which is the closest uh, city with the program, and uh, it's fifty-five dollars per tank. But it's also like a two and a half or or more maybe hour drive from here to there, so you've got a lot of gas and what I'm going to do the next time, like right now I've got two tanks, I'll see how long that takes to fill those up, then maybe I'll get four tanks. You have to pay uh, a deposit of 200 and something dollars per tank, but I mean, you know, to if it's going to save me trips, like say, say I fill them up in three weeks or a month, I don't want to have to drive to Grand Prairie every month to get rid of two tanks, I'd rather go every other month with four tanks. Anyways, I, I'm, I'm getting way off here. Um, so that is my new plan. I've got, I've, uh, ordered the signage. They, they give you, Mar gives you signage. Um, so I will be known as a drop-off point. I'm also going to do a once a month pickup where I will go around the town. People can, uh, put their address maybe on the website, which is, uh, uh, hhrecycling.ca. Um. Uh, the Facebook page at HH Recycling. I will, uh, well, I don't have very many people on my personal Facebook account because I don't use it that much, but um, I'll probably share that. I'll, I'll share it in the Discord. Oh, right, the Discord. So anyways, I while we were on the uh, uh, subject of people not reading descriptions, like uh, I've put in my videos, like the description, I put a, uh, the link to the Scrapadilly Acres uh, Discord server where there's a bunch of us that, you know, we just chat, share pictures, share, you know, scrapping tips and stories and also like video, like how to improve your videos and all that. It, basically whatever. And it's, I tried to organize it into uh, different channels, but we end up just talking wherever we're talking. So somebody might put up some pictures of some scrap and then that leads into a complete like conversation where you're gonna lose the pictures of the scrap I, I i'll probably try to moderate it more closely in the future but right now it doesn't really matter there's only like maybe i don't know 10 of us in there there's like uh so there's nice junk cruiser mac <laughs> i forgot you <laughs> uh, scrap man 69's in there scrapping on the flies in there uh now everybody's got different names some of them are like Big Red's in there, um, Southern Scrap Bucket, Scrap and Junk, Scrap It All is in there now. Uh, Bush Dog came in and then he was like, hey, how's it going everybody, blah, blah, blah. And then he left and then like a couple of weeks later he shows back up and he's like, hey, uh, how's everybody doing? And then it, when we respond, he never answers. So I don't know. I don't know, Bush Dog. What's the deal? Do you just not want to hang out with us? But anyways, that's so we've got a, a good group of people. I'll I'll tag everybody that's in there. I, I may have missed uh, Cruiser Mac. I'm just trying to think of whether I missed anybody, but um, the uh, yeah. So we we're just hanging out in the Discord, and uh, you know that's where basically when I I've been like we've got our first two uh, appliances now. We got a washer and dryer yesterday that I picked up. 
Uh, so I'll get my, like I'll scrap them down. One's a Maytag, one's a Kenmore. Scrap them down. I get to keep all the medals. I just have to keep record of the medals. And then, uh, you know, I get, uh, I mark those two things down. And at the end of the month, I believe it is, I tabulate all of the uh, appliances that I scrapped. And you get like a certain amount per per unit, depending on the units. Like you get more for doing refrigerant because that costs a lot more. So that will pay back my investment in the equipment to do the uh, things. And I'll, also I should mention, this is just in BC, but I'm sure that other provinces have it. Maybe other states have this where you can become uh, an authorized distributor. No, I guess not distributor, but a collector of recycled goods. Now, you have to have a corporation, I believe. Like I incorporated the company. Um, so I've got, you know, business insurance. I've got, uh, well, I don't have uh, workers' compensation because I don't need it right now because I don't have any employees. And I, I have my own personal workers' compensation. So um, I don't need, uh, unless I end up hiring someone, which I don't see foresee that, but, um, and uh, you have to have a place where people can bring the stuff. And you also are not allowed to charge people to drop stuff off. I am going to charge, uh, I'm not gonna charge for my monthly pickup, that's gonna be free, but if people want me to come and pick up, you know, say they got a fridge, they want me to come and pick up, um, I will charge probably a 10 or $15 fee if it's somebody in town to go over there, load up their their fridge and, and bring it over here, or whatever it is. like. I probably won't charge 15 bucks. If it's like a washer and dryer, I'll charge 15 bucks for the two. I'm not going to charge for each, but I don't know. Or, you know, if I'm going, if I'm not doing anything anyhow, maybe I'll go do it for free. Maybe it's a senior who I know doesn't have a lot of money. You know, I'll just go pick it up. It's, it really doesn't matter. It's not like a make or break thing. But So, but anyways, that, that was in a really long story is uh, what I've, uh, what I was going to try and, talk to the guys on uh, Discord today about it, but I just couldn't, for whatever reason, I couldn't make my uh, stream yard work. At least I couldn't hear anything through it, and when I tried to listen to myself through it, I, I couldn't hear myself. Maybe everybody else could hear me, I don't know, but it got to, uh, plus I have all these screens here now, I'm trying to get uh, everything, like this this computer and everything is only going to be for the recycling company. My, oh, it's, I'm not going to be using it for any personal use. I have to set up like uh, spreadsheets and everything on it, uh, which I'm really not good at. That's where I need a geek shark to help me, but is he gonna? Probably not. The, uh, but anyways, that's, that's just uh, what I've been doing. The dogs help me. Banks is so, she's helped so much today. She's sleeping on the floor here. And uh, I'm hoping that eventually I will be able to afford um you know to tear the floor out of this i mean that doesn't cost anything but it costs a lot to take the time out to do it um and then to put a new concrete floor in right now is going to be about fifteen thousand dollars by the time i have fifteen thousand dollars it's probably going to be 20 <laughs> like <laughs> the way everything goes these days but that's my uh that is our our plan right now we've shifted pivoted a bit um uh i'm not going to be i i guess if somebody calls and asks me to come and do some uh units like at another dump or something i will but i'm not going to pursue that um what i am going to do is every time i'm going to chetwind i'm going to let people know in chetwind that uh, i'm coming i'll probably like join some facebook groups or something like that same goes with Dawson Creek, and the same goes with Fort St. John. I've already got quite a few contacts in Fort St. John because I've gone and picked up stuff as, just as a scrapper, and people then, you know, call and say, hey, do you, you want one of these? Do you want some of this? And I'm just like, yep, I'll take whatever. If it's got batteries or a cord or metal, I'll take it. And even if I'm not going to make anything off of it, I, it doesn't matter. I'll still take it, just like most of you already know that. Like, just take whatever, you know get rid of it if it's garbage but like luckily i have the option to get rid of uh garbage for free i don't have to pay to go to the dump here it might be different if i you know i had to pay by weight but we don't so and we'd like to keep it that way which is another reason why i'm doing this because uh 
I want people when when and if our dump becomes a pay dump where you have to pay to take all this stuff I want people to have a place that they can bring their things for free and uh, that way you know we're it's a way to save a little bit of money for people it's $55 a ton I think in Fort St. John to take your um, to take your appliances in any appliances I don't know if they charge I don't think they charge extra for the uh, gas removal because Mar pays them back for the gas removal so I don't think that they can charge same as I can't charge I can charge for the service of going to pick up their thing I just can't charge for the uh, service of uh, draining the refrigerant so. yeah I don't know what else uh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put the uh, as I always do I'm gonna put the link to the Scrapadilly Acres discord if you want to come in and hang out with us it's just a pretty laid back place where you can go and chat, ask questions. Uh, you know, it, it's, it is, I find really helpful. Like if I'm scrapping something I never have, I'll make a video maybe, but now I don't have to make a video and wait for that to get commented on if it ever does. I just go into the discord and one of the guys has scrapped it before. Generally like the, uh, you know, somebody has already been through what you want to go through and it's uh you know a pretty quick way to get a response other than well now we got uh scrap and salvage joined last night he's in australia so now we'll have a, a night hawk so if somebody's doing night scrapping scrap man 69 um the uh you know there might he might be on there and be able to help you out or even just chat break the boredom you know whatever uh there's uh yeah that's it this i know this is bo a boring video but um i had said i was going to explain i i would have rather have just done it where i could talk and people could ask me questions and um oh that was the other thing that uh, we're we're talking about doing if uh, any of us get enough time is doing a live uh like a canadian scrappers live where uh, we discuss i mean everybody will be welcome but it'll be like canadian scrappers discussing um, you know the prices in their area tips and tricks of how you go about it for people that have a business you know maybe there's some tax breaks you know of that could help or whatever like it's uh, um, but that's I've been talking about it I just keep getting busier now I got like a 10-day job to, coming up where I'm only I'm gonna be working nights so I'm gonna be sleeping most days um, but at least I get lots of time to scrap, so. All right. Anyhow, well, we will. <laughs> Bye, everybody.